Hey everyone, Pikmin442. Welcome to the Knight's Storybook. You're probably asking, Knight's Storybook? What's this? This book came out around in 1996 in Japan. And it got re-released alongside Knights of the Dreams on PS2 back in 2008. Now, unfortunately, it only stayed in Japan, meaning there was no English translation. However, that's where the Knights community come to the rescue. I think it was Trippy who came to the rescue for translating this, if I, if I read this right. Well, anyway, I might leave a link if you want to read it for yourself, and hey, if you want to read it in Japanese, it's available in Japanese. So, let's get started. Let's put on some good music, and, and let's read. Close your eyes, and the story begins. Let's go out to see knights. Go into the dream world. There, surely, you'll be flying. Get a little nightopian. When you close your eyes, you don't see it inside of your eyelids. Far more lovely things. Perhaps you, perhaps you, you also know this? So. So, are you ready to travel to the country of dreams without a passport? Hey, the route is easy, so just close your eyes and wish. To see a pleasant dream, go to Nightopia. Nightopia, the country of happy dreams, overflows with light. Then, all is well with you. Or, have you had a scary dream? Things that make your closed eyes weep. Then, you have strayed into Nightmare. The country of nightmares. Nightmare is another country in the world of dreams. Those who go to sleep will inevitably become visitors to those countries over there. So try closing your eyes. What do you see? I see pleasant dreams for me. Things like wings are not necessary to fly in the air. The sound of flute is audible. It is the sound of the transparent flute carried by knights. Already, the tiny inhabitants of dream, Nightopians, appear and draw near to approach the sound. It is warm and light, gentle and calm. This is Nightopia, the world of dreams. Everyone sees in their dreams the appearance of the world of dreams. Aww, I think those Nightopians are adorable in this book. I will agree on that. However, that there is light. There's inevitably produce, this is inev it inevitably produces shadow. An ominous moon figure glitters in the location. But uncanny creatures wriggle like worms. The world is, so to speak, the shadow of Nightopia. Bad dreams rule this place, nightmare. Riala is standing alone, bathed in moonlight. A voice falls from high in the sky like a solitary and begins to talk to him. No other figure is in sight. <clears throat> Nightmare, our own utopia to love. In this beautiful darkness, no one is likely to notice. Light and such are, after all, merely deep shins. The truth, however, lies between. Ah, Riala. Only suppose if. Only suppose if Nightmare was not only the world of dreams, but they were the same. At your command. Today, Knight is playing with the Nightopians. The Nightopians appear to have fondness over his flute. Playing for Kotsu and the others. Not for any real reason, but just to have a good time. Suddenly, the unpleasant looking Riella appears out of thin air before, before Knight's very eyes. Ast astonished Nightopians fled at once. What happened? Hey, Knight, isn't it? I've never been to the world of light and flowers before. Is it, is it fun to play with the Nightopians? While Riel allowed lately and becomes merry. The expression shows offended and hard. I, sir, who are you? Who are you and where are you from? You're not familiar. Further, you saying things like that doesn't surprise or amuse anyone. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> I know, why don't we make peace and play a game? A game? With you? Yes, a game to see which of us can fly higher and faster. But Knights 
don't get mad at, at but night don't get mad at the end if I win there's no way someone like you could beat me so shall I do this this is enthusiastic however Knights be able to know is notice Riel's particular smile. Knights real form forms are similar, but their appearance are not the same. For instance, if Knights is light, Riel is shadow. One side of, is a card with the other. For this reason, perhaps they repel each other so completely. Soon, Riel places the right hand and drops it gently, jumping up with Knights and leaving sparkles. Okay, let's start. The two, the two spring up higher, steadily, higher and higher. <laughs> What's the problem? Riel's calm voice reaches Knight's ear, full of confidence in Riel's victory. Knight, look, look below you. Eh? Without thinking, Knight looked down. However, there was nothing under Knight's feet. Below, there existed only a deep and profound, utterly lightness darkness. Knight was not afraid of the darkness. Although you might have expected that, but this struck heavily, heavily. Faced with such unyielding darkness, Knight's, Knight's heart and mind produced only res, result, res, resolute terror. Zokuri? Knight closed his, closed his eyes for an instant, and in a straight line, Knight was pulled into the deep, deep darkness. Riala laughs, grimly, grinning. Broadly, although you hear that one's instructions properly, you do not expect such a sight. An amusing thing it's beginning nights is the last carnival of the Parade of Light. I love this face. This might be our thumbnail. Nights, nights was confined in a tiny building. That jerk Riella, how did, how did he imprison me here? With a heavy heart, Nights takes up the transparent flute, rise, raising it slowly to his mouth. The sound of the flute is sweetly beautiful at any time. A boy appears, guided by the sound of the flute. He comes from the real world, a visitor of the world of dreams. He has journeyed to this world, seeking a beautiful dreams. It looks a little different every time. What on earth? The boy was experienced. This paradise of dreams changed every single night. If the sun was shining, why was the air so cold here? There's a smell. There's a small building. You know, someone's inside. It seems familiar. Not only that, but someone is shouting, facing the boy. Hey, you! Let me out of here quickly! What are you doing? What a stupid jerk! Ice kept facing the boy and yelling in a lower, louder and louder voice. Try to understand. Get me out of here! Now. Figure, figure it out yourself. Give me a hint. What a coward. At that point, Knight was thinking about the darkness. The black, black shadow was latching onto Knight and spraying in his mind. Coward. The time I lost my courage wasn't I won. I cannot escape now. I beg you, let me impose on you. Knight stretched out a hand, leading the boy to talk to Tim timidly reach out with his own. As the two hands touched, the boy's hands suddenly shone with red light. What? You? The red light uh, the red light left the boy's hand, heading straight for night. As the two palms faced each other, a red glow wrapped around them. The light piled up around their bodies, uniting them. Uh huh? I'm 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 now in you? Yes, from now on, I am you and you are me. The two have become one. Really? Now let's continue. Taking the two as one, enfolding, enfolding night and the boy, the red light sprang straight up. I don't believe it. We can fly. The red light sprang high into the air, leaving the two. Steadily, they flew higher. The beautiful land of Nightopia fell quickly away beneath their feet. Even the building that had been prison night was with a mere speck, resembling a toy. Free! I'm free! Mr. Knight! Mr. Knight is still amazing. Knight? Is that your name? Yes, I am Knight. You? I'm Elliot. 
pleased to meet you, Elliot. It's all a dream, Elliot thought. I'm not here. It is night to night together, in one person. That is how I am flying through the air. That's what this dream is. And such a strange and amusing thought. He thought no further. Elliot, inside of night, began laughing. It was such a funny thing. Night started through the sky as freely as he was swimming. Joining in the mood, Elliot laughed as night twirls like a top. Night, I'm dizzy. Yes, but it's the best feeling in the world. Who, who are you? In that red light before. What was that? That light. As night opened his mouth, a voice sounded directly in his mind. A very small low shriek, like a ripple. It's the Nightopians! What? In an instant, the Nightopians were shaken. A low subterranean rumble could be felt as the ground broke open, revealing the faces of Nightmare, the land of bad dreams. Nightopians being enroached upon by Nightmare. What in the world is causing this motion? It's, it is. It's his doing. His? Wise men. The ruler of Nightmare. He plans to erase Nightopia. If that's true, then our dream is a nightmare, isn't it? By nature, Nightopia is a world born from the dreams of our people. Wiseman is Wiseman intends to break in, it seems. I know. You must guard the dream for ourselves and Nightopia. Elliot strongly agreed. We must protect it. Night and I for the world of dreams. I'm not sure about this. What? Until now, Ellie has had seen nothing terrible. But before, but, but now before their eyes appears, but before their eyes appear, creatures that were incarnation of bad dreams, nightmares. Well, Elliot shivered with terror as his heart grew heavy. Those are reality's underlings. Thought Knight. This place has become grim because of their spirits. Good, let's go. Yeah. Knights drew an enormous breath. They drew a huge circle around a the Nightopian. <laughs> Thereupon, the, the central Nightopian nightmare figure suddenly vanished. Hey, why did that happen? Thus, thus we can cut out the spaces around them, and thus the cutout space is into another place. That's wonderful, Knight. So don't worry. One by one, the nightmare has vanished. In that case, Knights, we're protecting our dream, Elliot thought. Knights. Thank you, because it was a scary event, thought Elliot instantly, as Knights flashed triumphantly. I'm Mr. Invincible. Now, I have seen, seen me, you know, I have seen my last play of Into Dreams. You know that we came across many night nightmares. However, there is one in this book that looks like it's probably been cut from the game. This guy right here, this thing, I don't know if it's just only for a book, or, or it was a cut nightmare. Either way, it looks interesting. <clears throat> don't know why they cut it, though. Again, if this came out after the game... Then that will make sense. It's probably just made for the book. But if this came out before the game, that means this was a cut. That means this guy was a cut nightmare. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> <clears throat> These are small fry, after all. However, I think we may have to work a bit harder for the rest. Before their eyes, someone suddenly appeared to block their path. It was Riella. You think? You can win with that guy linked with you, Knight. And if I do, Elliot, do you understand? Real rolled with laughter. What? What did you? S what did that guy say? What was he planning? Knight's body dance. The boys, the boys that get absorbed by Knight, they look like monsters. In a little while, like me, he was created by Wiseman's hands to give birth to nightmares. 
Eh? Elliot body is stiffened. Knight, a comp parrot. As this apparition, as as one so the other, Elliot's heart began to sink beneath the heavy darkness. Wait a moment, Elliot. It is true, certainly, that a little while ago I was a nightmare. Knight's voice could not reach Elliot, where he has become a captive of his fear. The connection between the two of them was cut. Even their communication. Severed. <sighs> the two were divided. A terrible shock assaulted the pair. The two bodies that thought time ago had become one were torn loose with a whiff. Two minds were likewise separated. Oh. Where Elliot regained consciousness, he found himself by the top of a cliff. The wind was freezing. Elliot was unable to do anything but wrap his arm around his knee. In order to withstand the cold and loneliness, he bit his lip hard. Nights. How can nights possibly be a nightmare? Elliot, can you hear me? It was nights. After a moment, Elliot told himself to restrain his joy. I, I, I've been locked up somewhere where I can't move. There's no key, so I can't open it. I need your help. But Elliot said nothing. Knights laughed into silence. Only bye bye. Or. I have no idea what that says. Could be heard. Just the sound of the wind. Unable to stand the sounds any longer. Elliot opened his mouth first. Are you really a nightmare? Yes, Knights. Yes, nice voice. Voice and feelings were cheerful as he answered. But do you need to know why I was called that? I'm Mr. Knights. What else is necessary? Elliot looked up at the emptiness. Under his feet, the cliff shook. Thus was Nightopia rapidly being engulfed by nightmare. Knights and I were fighting to protect Nightopia. Besides, most of all, I like nights before, so really, what more is necessary? Knights, I'll help you. What's the best thing to do? I thought so much. Knights grinned, breathy and laughed. You have, you have conquered fear, the deep darkness, and shows the fear that haunts your heart. Dive into the darkness, Elliot. Then you can find a solution. Solution? Hmm. I wonder if... People who made Journey of Dreams looked at this book for the for the final part of of their each final part of the story. You have to make me wonder if they took inspiration from the book. So that's kind of hmm. I have to admit, well, oh, because then again, this book came out in '96 and 2008, but. Journey of Dreams came out in 2007. Okay, I am thinking way too much of this. I need to get back to what I was doing. I am so sorry, folks. Oh. That's a face. Elliot peered carefully through the darkness at the bottom of the cliff. Down below was nothing but profound darkness. Elliot's body trembled with nervousness. Just as I thought. It's no good. Idiot. That red light is still with you. I hope. Red light? At that moment, the sound of a flute reached in Elliot's ears. The clear timbre, timbre? of an invisible flute being played. The sound stirred thoughts of peaceful times with Nightopia, visiting that lovely world, that beautiful world of dreams. My dream, mine. He had clenched his fist tightly. I do believe in knights. I believe in me. I got held his breath and jumped into the thick darkness, just like the two of them. He was spinning by a wondrous form of gravity. Elliot, Elliot realized that himself was flying through the air. He, by himself, Elliot, by his own power. A breeze hit his cheeks. The breeze should have been cold, but it didn't feel like that. Instead, the air felt warm. 
Okay, now I remember. It was still like this. Okay, I remember now. I think you still do this in the original game. Impossible! Brianna's voice rang out. Elliot's form was enveloped by, by enveloped in red light. The red light outlined trails that seemed to flow. It's impossible! The sky pos pos possessing the red light? The red light shot towards Riella at a terrific speed. Ugh. Riella vanished into a puff of smoke and walked on the pagoda that night had been in prison open. Prison and open. Knights took flight. The red light glowed on an even grander scale. Fools. Suck fools. Riala's voice faded out. Imagine something like that was trying to beat you while we were separated from me. Knights. I. You flew. You flew by yourself. You, yourself, found a solution. Yeah. Knights made a few circles with Elliot, but felt that they were being tricked. I'm Mr. Stylish when it comes to doing things, but we set that guy up too easily, didn't we? Suddenly, an enormous black shadow blocked their path. It's been a long time, Knights. <laughs> Earthquake, Thunder Wars. And the light is swallowed by darkness. And black, black darkness covers the surroundings. Miss that? Only the, the, the single dark voice resounds lowly. Have been created, you may have been a mistake, Knights. Nightmare is supposed to be your homeland. Why don't you follow my orders? Annoying, annoying, annoying. I follow no one. Oh! Annoying, annoying, annoying. I follow no one's orders. What I do is follow my own way. I don't allow anyone to bother me. Even if it is to create a wise man. Even if it's to create a wise man? That voice. Wise man, the, the governor of darkness? The governor of darkness? I thought I'd never hear him be called that. Elliot's throat made a gulping sound. His strenuously keeps his keeps back keep back his foot, which seems to run away. But it's not just me. I suppose also checking. Hey, Wiseman, show yourself. Ooh. Also, fun fact. I just found that out, found this out from the Knights Discord group. Shoutouts to y'all, by the way. Y'all are amazing people. Apparently, he has a neck. Yeah, Wiseman has a neck. It's impossible to see during cutscenes and probably the final fight in Journey of Dreams. I'm not sure about End of Dreams, but yeah, he has a neck. I don't remember who showed me, but I think it was actually in the Discord group I'm in. Anyway. Deep, deep darkness wraps around, wraps both people. The darkness Riella produced is no match for this. There are overwhelming nightmares. Black care. Black odors. Black worries. Black feelings. Fear tried to... Something in both of our hearts. Bug? I don't, I don't know what that says. Ugh. Don't close your eyes, Elliot. What is beyond the darkness will us, will us, will ascertain it with our eyes. Both people believed in each other's power and in their own courage. Night, Elliot. It appeared beyond the deep, deep darkness exists a, just a little light. Darkness is not born when there is no light. Is that every darkness light necessarily exists? Dive into that light. Understood? The moment the hands of both people came into contact, their bodies were enveloped by a red light. So, like when they dualized for the first time and that red light shines dazzlingly even bigger. What? Beautiful.
Yes! The other side of the broken darkness. They knew that there was courage. There was nothing scary. So that red light, that was the courage of both people. Well done, knights. <clears throat> that was White's voice. The guy still lives. Both people hardened their bodies. This time, I have been defeated. But if a weakness is born once again in your hearts, darkness will certainly be born again. Any number of times, any number of times, don't forget. Why does his voice echoes? Knights looked up at the sky. I noticed an unnoticed ray of light. <sighs> Knights thought it came back to Nightopia. Nightopia was in peace, yes? Yes. The bright sunlight made them both remember the warmth they forgot. Odor of the flowers, odors of the sun, odor of the wind blowing from the south. So, did I tell you? I'm invincible. We are. We are, don't you mean? They both laughed a little. At that moment, Elliot knows that his body starts to disappear little by little. The awakening is close. <sighs> Soon I will wake up. It was a long dream. Thanks to you, Knights, I could find out important things. Idiot, you can't summon what you didn't already have. You just didn't notice. The power of your courage is wonderful. Knight's deadly serious face is amusing. And Elliot left as a medicine. Thanks, Knight. The palm of his hands, which disappeared, is lonely, but he can't talk about such things. Elliot shakes his fist tightly. Knight, can we meet again? Well, what should I do? Knight smiles. Think about such a thing by yourself. Elliot smiled. Also smiled slowly. Knights extended his hands. Elliot extended his hands at that moment, and both hands tried to come in contact. Elliot's body disappeared. Ooh, that, that side looks beautiful. Ah, Elliot has returned to the real world, to the world where he should really live. He had a strange dream. You may talk about these events to his friends while laughing, or he may have completely forgotten about the contents of such a long dream the moment he woke up. Natopia's crisis, as well as Knight's. Knight was left behind alone, grabbed softly his hands, his destination has disappeared. You may completely forget, but you certainly touched his hands, this hand. Together, we flew in the sky. We're invincible. A bright light illuminated Nightopia, as there is, as if there has nothing, been nothing at all. The wind rustles, and the gentle melody sung by nothing is heard. We. Knights looked up. At the sky just once, and put his transparent flute to his mouth. The sound of the flute. It sounded a little. This sound is soft and beautiful, and rises higher and higher in the sky. Just like Elliot and Knights, when they flew together in the sky for the first time. Even without wings, you can fly in the sky. The answer is always sleeping inside someone's dream. And that was the Knights storybook. A good, and that was actually a good read. I'm not gonna lie, folks. It's too bad we never got a book for Journey. I wonder what that would have been. That would have been amazing. <sighs> and folks, if you think I'm done with knights, you're you're wrong. There's about what two more, two or one, because there's I still got to cover the multiplayer in Into Dreams. Still trying to figure that out. And apparently. There is a Knight's Tiger handheld game. I don't know if I'll be able to cover that, but if I'm able to one day, expect it. But for now, always remember, always remember this. You can always fly inside someone's dreams. See you guys then.